it is so freaking cold it is so freaking cold i hate it i hate it it's cold in california when it shouldn't be but it is <sighs> hey guys so i wasn't planning on making a video about this topic just because i just i didn't think it'd be interesting but i thought about it more and i was like What's not interesting about getting YouTube advice from a Hall of Fame certified OG YouTuber like Kia Molly? So you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know why you're here. I'm gonna tell you guys all about the time where Kia Molly came into my job and he gave me some really good YouTube advice. I work at a really popular location in my city. I don't know if everybody else in different parts of the globe have it, but there's a place here in California called the Guitar Center where basically you can go in and get any musical instrument that you want. So I work at a very famous location in California, which is right on Sunset. Everybody goes there. Anybody you could ever imagine has walked into the store. And going into working here, I knew that it was a hot spot, but I didn't expect to see a lot of people and man was I wrong <laughs> so this day just started off like any other day I was living my best life working putting a smile on people's faces like I do and I think it was sometime like I want to say two to three hours before we were closing that Kian came in with Bobby and if you guys don't know who Kia Lolly is he is this OG youtuber he used to have a collaborative channel called our second life with like six or seven other guys I think Wait, JC, Connor, Trevor, Ricky, Sam. Yeah, it was like five other guys. He had a collaborative channel back in the day and they were huge. And once that ended, like four years ago, he branched off with one of the original members, JC. And now they have a YouTube channel called Keen and JC, which I will link down below if you guys haven't checked them out. They're amazing, they make super funny videos. So definitely, definitely, definitely go subscribe because I watch them every single day. I promise you they are so amazing so definitely check them out and so he came into my job with Bobby and the moment I saw him I freaked out internally of course I didn't I didn't I didn't freak out externally it was all internal so I was doing like backflips and had trouble breathing like all the stuff that you can't really see was happening inside does that make sense I hope it makes sense yeah I was freaking out and nobody else knew who that was and I was like oh my god because Little fun fact, O2 was actually the YouTube channel that introduced me to the platform at all. So they were the very first YouTubers I ever, ever watched. So it was it was crazy seeing him in person and he was my little YouTube crush. I just, ugh. I would still do anything for him, even now meeting him twice. He's so sweet, but I'm getting ahead of myself. In my position, I work at the front desk. So people come in and out through me all the time. So if you buy something and you're leaving the store, I gotta stamp your receipt. If you come into the store and you have something you wanna sell or you have a return, you sign in with me. So I see people come in and out all day, every day. Towards the end of their shopping spree, they were leaving the store and I said, hey guys, would you mind if I stamped your receipt? And they said, okay, sure. And I was looking at Kian and I was like, oh, just so you know, man, I'm a huge fan of your work. And he didn't think I was talking to him. He thought I was talking to Bobby. And he was like, oh, are you talking to me? And I said, yeah, I'm talking to you. Like, I, I absolutely love your content. And he was like, oh, thank you so much. That's amazing. And we we're talking about something. I kind of got lost in the conversation because I was just like, oh my God, I'm talking to Kian Wally. What is happening? And one of my coworkers, Najee, he was looking at him and he was like, oh, you know, she has a YouTube channel, right? And I was like, what are you doing? Because I wasn't planning on telling him at all. I didn't want to be that person that would be like, oh, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel at the moment they see somebody that's like really successful? I don't want to be that person. I just want to talk to him, see how his day was going. That's how I interact with everybody. So when Najee said that, I kind of freaked out because I didn't want Kian to see me as like someone who was like, you know, trying to, you know, use him for something or, you know, I don't know. I just didn't expect Najee to do that and I wasn't planning on telling him. Kian looked at me and he was like, oh, really? Is that true? And I said, yeah. He's like, what do you do? And I said, oh, I do a combination of like reviews, reactions, story times, I try different things, like I haven't really found my niche yet. So I just do a bunch of things. And tell me why he said, would you mind writing down the name of your channel so I can check it out when I get home? What? <laughs> are, are you okay? Are you high? What's happening? <laughs> 
And I was like, yeah, sure. And so I took my boss's uh, business card. I wrote my name out, just my first, middle, and last name, because that's the name of my channel. And he was like, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. And what's your name again? And I said, oh, my name is Deja. And he said, nice to meet you. I'm Kian. And he like extended his hand and shook my hand and like formally introduced himself. Like he didn't care that I already knew who he was. He wanted to be polite and introduce himself. And I was like, oh! Oh Lord have mercy on my soul, what is happening? Jesus, why me? But at the same time, things because it's gnarly. So that happened and I was like fangirling the entire night after he left because I was so taken aback by how nice he was and how like down to earth he was because I don't know why I didn't expect him to be because like, yeah, Kian's very handsome. But I don't know, a part of me thought that he was like super rude or like full of himself, but he's not from what I've encountered so far. So I wrote it down, but I didn't really think that he would actually watch my channel. I was like, there's no way, he's super busy. Until about a week, maybe two weeks. It, it was a while before I saw him again. But the next time he came in, I wanna say it was like the week before Christmas. And he came in to get a piano. And I saw him and I was like, oh, hey. He was like, hey. And my hair was different, and duh. I just didn't expect him to remember me, but he looked at me and he said, oh, just so you know, I watched your channel. Excuse me? I was like, you did? And he was like, yeah, you're really awesome. I really like your videos. And I was like, go, oh, my God. Okay, wow, thank you. I really did not expect at all for him to like take time out of his day to watch my videos because him and JC were uploading every single day and I knew they'd be busy and I was like, oh my God, there's no way. But if he does, that'd be so cool. But I didn't hold my breath. And the fact that he actually did meant the world to me. So I said, oh my god, thank you so much. He's like, I was I'm, I was actually gonna comment on one of your videos, but I totally forgot. I was like, okay, that's totally fine. Just the fact that you even remembered me that you did means so much. And so he went to the store, he was playing on our pianos in our pro audio section, and he got his piano. I think he got like, I know he got a couple of records. He got like a Beatles record and a couple other things. And he was leaving and I was checking his receipt. And um, a part of me, a part of me was just like, oh my god. I, I need to ask him, of all people, like what's some good advice for someone like me who's, you know, been on YouTube for a year and is trying to grow a little bit, like what advice does he have for me? So I was stamping his receipt and I said, man, Kian, I gotta ask, man, what's some good advice you have for someone like me? Because I've been on YouTube for about a year now and it feels like I'm kind of stuck stagnant and when I do, you know, get some attention, it's only for a short amount of time what's some advice you have for me as someone that wants to you know make this like a career the advice he gave me was really really awesome and it was advice that i was kind of already applying to my content what i wanted to do but it was reassuring to hear from him what he told me was that first and foremost it's important to be yourself and to make the content that you want to make um he said so often there will be trends that come up and like every youtuber does the exact same thing at the exact same time in the exact same way and it kind of gets drawn out and dull and boring and he said it's really important to be yourself and to make the content that you love and that you want to create um because that's what makes you stand out that's why youtubers like emma chamberlain joanna sedia and james charles are going viral all the time because they're stepping out of what's normal on youtube and what's expected on youtube and when something unexpected happens like people are like whoa that's cool, let me watch that. So he said to definitely experiment and YouTube shouldn't feel like a job, you should have fun doing it. So don't do videos that you're not passionate about and that you're not into because your audience will see right through that and they'll just tell that you're not into it. So just make sure that the content you make is what you really wanna make. And then he also said that collabs are a really good idea because your energy and your humor bounce off the other person and vice versa and it's just fun and you get to meet new like you get to reach out to different audiences and experiment with things and people like collab so they definitely collab and I said okay that's really awesome and so I was telling him about how I already you know when it comes to making YouTube videos I want to make videos that I love if I don't have to film I want to look forward to filming you know what I mean so so often when I make like for example my k-pop videos a lot of my friends don't really like k-pop and they're like oh my god why do you keep doing k-pop videos why do you keep doing that why do you keep doing this and it's like first of all because i like it <laughs> and second of all those are some of the most viewed videos on my channel so if you don't like it like eight thousand people do hello <laughs> or like three thousand people do or like 1,000, almost 500 people do. Like, I know what I'm doing. But yeah, this video was uh, kind of short, but I just want to tell you guys about 
the time when I met Kian and he gave me awesome YouTube advice. And for some reason, if Kian, if you're watching this on some weird night when you can't sleep and you're editing for a long time and you see my face again, just know I really appreciate the advice you gave to me. It really meant a lot and you're just so nice. And I, d I don't know why I just didn't expect you to be so nice and so, you know, willing to listen and just be so giving with advice. So I really appreciate it and enjoy the piano. Remember about the return policy. It still applies. Just so you know, in case you didn't know, it still applies. <laughs> yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click that bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you want to follow me on all my social media, they'll all be linked right down below. And until I see you guys again next time, I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.